Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at how we can easily import and export our Slider Revolution sliders. Now this gives us the ability to swap sliders between different websites, or if we've created a particularly complicated slider and we want to just make some adjustments to that without having to go through the entire process of recreating it, we can export that and we can load it back in at any point into any other website, or we can just save it out for any other number of reasons. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right now. So as you can see, I'm in the admin of my WordPress site and I've got my slider revolution control panel open. And as you can see, I've got quite a few different sliders available to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all export a slider and then we'll go back and we'll take a look at how easy it is to re-import that in. Now one of the key benefits of being able to import and export your sliders is the fact that you can take these between different websites. So you may well find that you create a slider that is quite a complicated layout and you want to duplicate that into a different site and just make some small tweaks. Well, this is a great method for doing just that. So let's first of all take a look at how we can export any given slider from our control panel. So you can see we've got quite a different range of sliders. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my 3D parallax option. So when we take our mouse over the thumbnail, you can see we've got several different options available to us. We can edit it, we can go in and adjust the settings, or we can choose the drop down menu and do a few different things from this. So we click on that, you can see we have five different options available to us. We can embed the slider, export, delete, duplicate, or preview. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna choose to export. So once we click that, you can see now it's automatically downloaded that to the download location. Depending on what browser you use, you may have a little dialog box pop up and ask you where do you want to save it, but I'm using Chrome and that automatically downloads it to a specified folder. So we've now downloaded that, that's how easy it is, that's all there is to it. So let's just say for example now that I'm on a different website and I want to reload that back in so I can start working on it, I can just choose the import slider option. That will ask us a few different options. It'll allow us first of all to choose the file which comes down as a zip file so all of the, the relevant components are contained inside that one file. We can then choose three different options. We can choose custom animations to overwrite or append any custom navigations, sorry, animations and navigations, overwrite and append, any static styles that may be included in this, how do we want to deal with it? Do we want to overwrite the existing, append to update, or we can completely ignore those? Well, I'm going to leave these all as their default for now because I don't really need to worry about changing anything, and I'll just hit choose file. That will then open up the dialog box that allows us to go and choose that file. As you can see, 3D parallax, which is the one we just downloaded. So all we need to do is now click import slider, and that will now go through the process of importing that file and all the relevant files that are associated with it. Once that's done, it now tells you that that's all been completed successfully. So as we can see, we now have that in our dashboard. It's incremented the name one additional, so we got 3D Parallax 1 as opposed to 3D Parallax. So we now know that's a new one. And if we click to come in to edit that, all the settings that we had from the original one, unless we've actually overwritten any predefined styles and things, that will all be laid out exactly as the first one was. So everything's in place all the different text, different elements, everything's where it should be. So that's how easy it is to quickly come in, export your already pre-built uh, sliders. You can then load those into any given website that's used in Slider Revolution, and you can control exactly how that import is undertaken by WordPress and by Slider Revolution. Well, I hope you found this quick tip useful. I hope it's something that's going to speed up the process of working with your sliders with Slider Revolution 5. If you did find the video useful, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the weekly content we add. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. We read everything you post and try to answer every single question. If you're considering purchasing Slider Revolution 5 for any of your websites, please consider clicking the link in the description below. It helps the channel out by getting a small percentage of that sale back that helps us grow this channel and reinvest into everything that we're doing on here. Well, until next time, take care.